वेलकम टू माई व्यूज न्यूज थ्री मेन न्यूज स्टोरीज इन दिस वीडियो फॉर यू फर्स्ट न्यूज स्टोरीज अबाउट अम्हारा अ पॉपुलर फ्रंट अ फ्यू आवर्स गोड एड अ वीडियो अबाउट अ मैप पब्लिश बाय सोशल मीडिया पेज एफिलिएटेड विद अम्हारा अ पॉपुलर फ्रंट ऑफ स्कंदर नैगा दैट पेज shared a statement to it published a statement to saying that uh, that this is the time to work for creation of amhara country people should forget ethiopia they should know amhara should work for establishment of amhara country separate independent country since the publishing of this video which i did i be receiving messages on twitter whatsapp facebook uh, emails people say sajid you are misinforming skandar naga last night uh, davut uh, georges did not say a word about creation of an amhara country it means your information is false you are working on someone's agenda now i want to answer these questions i want to respond to this criticism i have a clip as well of uh, david all the georges what did he say during fundraising in the us last night secondly what is debre birhan university situated in north shore zone of the amhara region new story from this university its entry gate is being demolished and demolition of a small structure entry gate is turning into a controversial issue what is the reason behind this controversy third viewers egypt is threatening to directly intervene in sudan very important development because egyptian involvement direct involvement in sudan could have far reaching implications the sudanese internal civil war could turn into regional war reportedly reportedly egypt is saying that if three military bases which are now under uh, sudanese army control if these three bases fell to rsf egypt would be forced to directly intervene in sudan which three bases if egypt intervenes what will ethiopia do what will eritrea do firstly viewers uh last video before this one was about uh, amhara popular fronts fundraising apf raised funds last night in the us webinar go fund me campaign around 370000 us dollars were raised and then we saw a statement from a social media page affiliated with apf the social media page shared uh, a map saying that uh, amhara people now should work for establishment of amhara country they should forget ethiopia as i said earlier people uh, criticized me saying i was uh, opposing uh, this amhara resistance movement i was against the movement etc firstly i have a clip for you the clip shows david ol georges who is apf's foreign affairs in charge when skandar naga formed amhara popular front uh, around 40 days ago he nominated david as the head of external affairs foreign affairs of apf uh, david is based in the us and last night david ethiopian journalists other uh, uh, amhara diaspora notables they started go fund me campaign for apf and as i said earlier so in just 3 hours 370000 dollars were raised what did david say during this fundraising small clip or the clip then we'll try to analyze it malke bazi manifest kakatale gimbaru physics sin izo wede 4 kilo yegebal biyamna lebachir gize ust na egziabel istilin 
David is thanking the people. He is saying this generosity, the donation should continue and we should all work to provide for our forces. If we continue supporting our forces, our forces will find a way into 4 kilo, Addis Ababa. So APF wants to be in Addis Ababa. Now this is stated goal of Amhara Popular Front that it wants to capture Ethiopian capital. Just like TDF wanted to capture Addis Ababa uh, in 2021, it was, it was saying there was no one between TDF and Addis Ababa. Then came drones between TDF and Addis Ababa and TDF had to retreat. Fin Fine is a stated goal of Ola to four decades. Ola has been working hard to reach close to Fin Fine. It never managed to be in a position to capture Fin Fine. Now, APF's stated goal is Addis Ababa. It wants to capture Addis Ababa. It means it wants to overthrow the government. Question is, is there an ally of uh, Amhara Popular Front? Does it have any ally? Ally from other ethnic groups? Any group in Oromia, in Tigray, in Somali, Afar, Biji, Gambala regions? Does it have any ally? No. So while it has no allies, it wants to capture Addis Ababa. And what is next? If it captured Addis Ababa, what will happen next? Obviously, either other ethnic groups will have to submit to this uh, group, which is trying to reach Addis Ababa, or this group will remain in control of territories which are under its control and the other regions will not agree to work with this group. So either entire Ethiopia will be under this group or this group will be in a position to administer the areas which uh, it wants to, uh, like the ones shown in the, on the map published by Associated Media Post. So it's almost clear that this group wants to have a government of its own choice in Ethiopia. This group wants to seize power in Ethiopia by force obviously, not through dialogue. And by the way, for some Amhara hardliners, Ethiopia means Amhara, Amhara means Ethiopia. There are some who believe that uh, there is no Ethiopia without Amhara. So if they have published a map calling uh, a zone as Amhara country, it means they are calling it basically Ethiopia. Ethiopia minus Oromia, Ethiopia minus Tigray. Because for them, Amhara and Ethiopia are equivalent. They are one and the same. But the way uh, some people are criticizing this post by uh, the social media page, I think publicly APF will never say its leaders like Skandar, others, they will never say that they want to create a separate Amhara country. Because publicly this narrative will not be accepted. That is what I said. Idea was floated today, I think. Publishing of map statement, it was an idea floated to test the waters. People, as I said in the last video, going to oppose it. Because for Amharas, uh, they believe if you appear as Amhara, Amhara is Ethiopia. So, so though, so though, uh, majority of them won't support the idea of a separate Amhara country. Because they, they, they believe all Ethiopia is, represents Amhara. So, so, so that is why uh, uh, people are going to oppose this idea of a separate Amhara country. The fighters 
fighting factions will not publicly admit now, keeping in view the public reaction, they will not say they want to create a separate Amhara uh, country. Arya was floated, it is not going to be well received. That is why we know that uh, TPLF never publicly said it wanted uh, a Tigray independent country. Uh, Ola never publicly says it wants uh, a separate Oromia country. It says self-termination. Because uh, there could be some groups uh, which are against the idea of uh, breakup of Ethiopia. Secondly was Debre Birhan University of Ethiopia situated in North Shore zone of the Amhara region where entry gate the university is being demolished. It is turning into a controversy. Why? The entry gate was built uh, like uh, Emperor Menelik's palace like the uh, gate of Emperor Menelik's palace was built. Building style, architectural style of this uh, Debre Birhan University entrance gate is like the architectural style of Emperor Menelik's palace in Ankobar. This entry gate is being demolished. Videos are being shared. And dean of the university is being accused that he is working against Amharas. He wants to uh, demolish everything which has uh, bearing of uh, Amhara culture, bearing of uh, uh, the works of uh, great Ethiopian kings and emperors. Clear for you uh, from Debra Birhan University showing that uh, the entry gate is being demolished it seems. <laughs> Lastly, because Egypt is threatening to intervene in Sudan, reportedly though it has not been announced publicly, but reportedly Egypt has conveyed a message to international players that uh, it has limits, it has red lines, if red lines are crossed, it will be forced to intervene in Sudan. What are Egypt's red lines? Uh, some sources accused Egypt of being involved uh, secretly in support of Sudanese army. That the Egyptian planes were involved in air strikes uh, uh, in uh, April and May. Uh, though we never saw any visual confirmation, we could not find any convincing evidence. But reportedly now Egypt is sending a clear message. Why? Because we were seeing on the ground that Sudanese military is losing ground. RSF gradually expanding uh, in Bari, Khartoum, Umedarman. Egypt is concerned now. It has this apprehension that RSF fighters could reach close to Sudan-Egypt border. When the war broke out on the 15th of April in Sudan, if you remember back then, rapid support forces, they took control of Marwe Air Base to the north of Khartoum towards uh, Sudan-Egypt border. And there, some Egyptian Air Force uh, uh, officials were there, Egyptian planes were there, RSF captured the base, it uh, took them, took Egyptian military officials as prisoners, uh, then they were handed over to Red Cross. Now, RSF fighters withdrew from Marwe Air Base. Uh, Egypt threatened reportedly. It sent a message to RSF that RSF should remain away from Sudan Egypt border. RSF withdrew. It tried to consolidate its uh, positions in Bari, Umidrawan, Khartoum. Gradually, we are seeing that strategic sites are falling to RSF. Egypt reportedly has mentioned three red lines that if the red lines are crossed, Egypt would be forced to intervene directly in Sudan. Red lines are three military bases which are now under the control of Sudanese army that if RSF captured the three bases, 
Egypt could be involved in the form of uh, deployment of its air force, ground troops, etc. Wad Sayyidina base, situated to the north of Hal Fayyal Maluk. We know that uh, RSF fighters have been trying to advance towards Wad Sayyidina base. It is under RSF, uh, it is under Sudanese army control. RSF trying to move towards Wad Sayyidina. First red line. Second, Salahul Madriyat, another military base. Third one, Mohandasin. In Mohandasin, Umadirman, there is uh, a main military base of Sudanese military. Third red line. If these three red lines are crossed, if the, these three red lines uh, are crossed by RSF, RSF fighters take control of these three places, Egypt says reportedly it would be forced to intervene in Sudan. Egyptian intervention in Sudan could have far-reaching implications. What will Ethiopia do? What will uh, Eritrea do? Especially Ethiopia. Ethiopia wants to keep Egypt away from its borders. Ethiopia is going to start uh, fourth filling of the dam uh, after a few days. Uh, Egypt has been opposing unilateral filling of GERD by Ethiopia. Tensions always rise between Ethiopia and Egypt during uh, filling season, dam filling season. Ethiopia would like Egypt to be away from its borders. It does not want Egypt to be directly involved in Sudanese civil war. If it happens, Ethiopia might be feeling compelled to be in Sudan as well. Let's see what happens. Uh, there could be a regional intervention to Igad is trying to create consensus uh, for a regional intervention. While for international intervention, we are seeing talks uh, held in Jada, Saudi Arabia, uh, US, UK too, they are in talks. So, whether there is international intervention, regional intervention or individual intervention, it could happen if the war goes on, if rapid support forces capture more strategic sites, if the violence in Darfur continues, we could see some form of intervention in Sudan. Let's hope that this intervention uh, leads to decrease in hostilities. An intervention could uh, lead to expansion of this war too. Let's see. Egypt has made it clear about its intentions, not uh, publicly, but in some private meetings with some international players reportedly. Thanks for watching.